have no room. <laughs> I'm gonna hide everything. Everything's gonna be hidden. It's not gonna work. Well, I started to get bummed, guys. The way this build was going and the way I planned it out, I lost all my legroom and even my passenger seat. Got a little sad. Maybe even got a little teary-eyed. I don't know. I'm not gonna say. So I hit a wall. And I did what every man does to solve their problems. I created a vision board. I'll show you the problem I got. So we're, we're building the cool Beano El Camino, and it's it's getting there. It's slow and steady. And then when it come down here, I, I put the biggest motor and transmission I could possibly find on God's green earth into it. And I'm running out of floor space. I have no room. That brings me over here where I I don't have room. To follow this to this to this to over here. That's me driving around town by myself, building all this cool stuff to drive and be be lonely. I don't want to be lonely. I want to I want to get my my boo thing, get my girlfriend and go cruising. Now I don't I don't have a girlfriend, but it'd be cool to do all this and race it and and enjoy it with my friends and then put my my girlfriend in there and maybe. This leads to getting one of these. I'm gonna get a cool pug. I'm gonna put the pug with the girl. And now I'm building this whole thing and I have no floor space. So I'm building this car. And it's gonna be a big paperweight. It's gonna be fast, but I'll be driving it by myself. It sounds terrible to me, don't you think? I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> For that voice. The problem is, I need this. I need this space. And I want to have this space to put a full seat, two racing seats. I'm a terrible drawer, but you get the point. Back here, two seats, enough foot room. And the other thing is, I build eight to one merge headers on this thing, and I want you to be able to see it. So you can't even see that. So you can't see the headers. You can't sit in the damn thing. And I would be the only one to be able to enjoy it. So to, to me, it seems like a big waste of, uh, of effort to build a car that only I could drive with myself because then. Happiness is only true when shared. I made it up myself. I didn't copy that from anybody. It was this guy, not me. Whole point of this car is a drag race, autocross, time attack, climb mountains. I don't know what this thing's gonna do, but I wanna have fun with it with somebody else. But I gotta get room. I was thinking about kicking the motor all the way forward. Can't do that because I got a diff there now because I had to go all wheel drive. Oh, what the hell do I do? It's gotta be some way to get this thing. What if I do this? course it's not upside down but now the motor is in the back transfer cases in the front and we flip it holy crap that's it we put the motor 180 and we flip the transfer case for me to do this and flip it you guys are all like oh if you guys are going to drive the car it's not going to be driving in reverse that's true but what we're going to do is flip the both pinions so if the pin's on this side and it's driving it up we flip the pinion and now it's driving it down so it's just be flipping both those nine inches gear sets upside down. Now the car will drive forward. I'll get the motor and flip it. Push the motor all the way back to the pro charge at the back. That cures the whole hang up with the 8 to 1 merge headers because now you'll see them in the bed. Oh, that gave me the goosebumps. So you can see the headers out the back and then it'll be back enough that now my box or my console will be back and I can move forward to the original position and I can put a whole bench seat in this. Oh. <laughs> I just sort of thought about this before. So I'll just flip the motor. We'll flip the motor. that we got this thing spun around I'm actually gonna rotate the transfer case 180 degrees to get it out of my side of the driver's seat and then from there I got to rip out all the old tubes that I just put in <laughs> I gotta rip these all out and do it again because I got to get it centered to the cross member 
and totally lucking out, my frame rails are exact same width, so I can actually take this cross member and just notch out just a little bit for the front and 180 this. I don't want to get rid of this piece, so I'm just going to cut it, spin it around, and use it in the front now. So we got to do a bit of a recap. I was actually going to make the whole episode about building this cross member. Then I got a little ahead of myself and kept on filming and kept on building. And then, well, here it is. Let me just do a little recap. Long story short is I've always wanted to build a multi-dimensional body piece or a cross member. So the whole idea with this is multi-layering steel together and I'll weld the whole thing and it'll be a 3D part when I'm done. So I use the plasma table to cut out the main brackets on a quarter inch, broke the ends, bent everything up, and I have very precise index holes for where I want to run my chassis, the actual chromoly tube itself. So once I put everything together and weld it, it'll be a singular piece that I can drop in that I can also run my chromoly tube through to hold it before I start fabricating the chassis. Next up is I need a backing tube to start the end cap for where the engine is now. So I'm gonna take a one and five eighth piece of chromoly, measure it up, and then just have a backing tube to actually start going to. Later on in life, I'm gonna to have to cut the midsection out so I can drop the engine out. But other than that, this is a good place for us to start. This is where the cross member actually comes in handy. So we're actually gonna jump right in and create the main hoop of the chassis. I'm gonna create the main hoop so I can work forward and do my down bars because in last episode we created the upper and lower control arms. Those have to be tied to the chromoly tube for the chassis. But I need somewhere to start and I wanna finish that up so I'm gonna start with the main hoop and work forward to the down bars which will be in the next episode. All right, so we have the main hoop in, thoroughly fired on down because, <laughs> long story short was, I have this angle here, and then I had another deep dive over here around this radius, and then I had this dive forward coming through. So from there, I had these three complex bends, really. So once I figured it all out, laid it out, it took me all night, I got this nice piece. So now she's in there, she's tied up, she's nice and level. What you didn't see on camera was I ended up chomping off the bottom here to make this thing level. All right, so we've been pushing hard. We're gonna do the final blast of the finish line. Not to finish the car, but to get this episode done because it's gonna be a nightmare to edit. <laughs> and then from there, uh, we're gonna start working on the Ford 9-inch. So we're gonna show you the special piece. This is a Curry Ford 9-inch front end for an IRS. Uh, I'm taking it and making my IRS here for the front. And really, I'm just gonna build a cross member out of tubes, some brackets on the side to hold it, set the pinion angle based on that diff, now that everything's spun around and then hard set it, start running the tubes. But once I finish that, my plan is to come back in here and tidy all this up and tie it all to the front pumpkin.
you for checking out this episode. Next episode, we're going to get down and dirty and finish up the front. We're going to double shear those upper lower control arm brackets and make some down bars off this cage. So, yeah, thanks for checking in. This one was, uh, it was fun. See you again.